Well, this week marks 25 years since the deadly shooting at Columbine High School. 12 students and one teacher were killed by two gunmen on April 20th of 1999. Some families of those who were killed want the day to be about more than what happened. All this week, your reporter Karen Morfitt is sharing how they want to highlight the positive changes in the work that has happened since that day. Tonight, she shares Rachel Scott's story, one that has touched millions of lives. Stories have always changed the world. But ask Daryl Scott, and he'll be the first to tell you he never imagined his daughter, Rachel Joy Scott's story, would be on that list. The truth is, my vision was just to honor her for a year. I thought maybe if, if I could honor her for a year and let people know who she was, her diaries, her writings. After the shooting, investigators kept Rachel's backpack as evidence. It was weeks before the family would get it back. So I rushed over to get it, and I went out to my vehicle, and when I opened up her backpack, her final diary was there. And I pulled it out. Like any parent, I wanted to see the last thing she had written. Instead, he found this drawing and pages of short poems. On the back, a message. Of her final diary was a, a hole in her diary where a bullet entered. And right where that bullet entered, she had written, I won't be labeled as average. Today, it's a mantra for students across the country, shared as part of a program known so as Rachel's Challenge. Family. After we lost Rachel, it was like we discovered this whole side of her that we had never seen before. We go into schools, we do assemblies, we create a Friends of Rachel club. We call them FAR clubs. We're for things, not against things. We're not against bullying, we're for kindness. 25 years later, they continue to expand, and Rachel's story continues to change, even save lives. We see 150 suicides every year prevented. Still, Daryl says they have to do more. Well, we have to because if we're seeing the negative increase, which we are, we've got to see the positive increase. I'm Karen Morfitt, covering Colorado First. Rachel's brother Craig was also at Columbine during that shooting. He didn't share his story with us this year, but we have spoken to him in the past about his program called Value Up, which puts a focus on valuing life. We have much more on both of those programs on our website, cbscolorado.com. Mm. We are following a development.